We are back, baby. Also, new setup. You like it? So, I basically got my hat on, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, hey, uh, Giants fans, how we doing? Yeah, it's not looking too good for you guys. You also lost to the Dolphins, which I'm not surprised that you did. And also, Saquon got hurt, and now it looks like Daniel Jones is also, is also probably out for a while, so... Get ready, Giants fans. It's going to be a long season. But anyways, before we get into it, I do want to show you some of the new things that my mom found at the dollar store. As you can see, we have currently um, set up the table. As you can see, that is how I have my little setup here with the table. So you can see I put all the grass on it and everything and the C and everything. So I'm just repositioning the camera a little bit there. And there we go. So yeah, this is basically my setup right here. So how do you like it? Do you like this new setup? Is it better than me holding the camera? Do you kind of miss it? We'll just have to wait and see. I got my uh, frame right there. I got a Seahawk, my Seahawks foam logo up there. I got a NFL poster back there. I got a Paw Patrol Mighty movie poster that I made myself. It's from a, from like a cardboard back. Seahawks schedule right here. And then this is for the Watkins Schedule Model Railroad Club for the open houses, which we're having our next open house on Saturday. So if you're in the area, come and see us. We, we would definitely appreciate the business. But anyways, I do want to show you some of the things that my mom found because we have a few other things. Check this out. That's right. It's a calendar. We already got our 2024 calendar. It's going to be a My Little Pony themed calendar. Heck yeah. Look at this. This looks so cool. You see you got Izzy Mubo right there looking adorable as ever. And then you got Sunny. There's Hitch. And there's Zip and Pip right there. On the back, you can see those are all the... I don't think this is like... I don't think this is all the pictures that you, that you get. But yeah, you can see that's basically what it looks like. So... Not going to open this until like December 31st, but still, was not expecting to get a calendar this early, but hey, whatever. It's still very cool, although I really wish that Misty was on the front, but I guess this was made before Chapter 5. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Let's get right into it. So uh, take it away, Pip. Let's get into the intro, and let's get into my Week six, NFL predictions. We're officially back, baby. Now, let's get the party started. Hey! <laughs> There's something kind of creepy happening tonight. So call your favorite ghoulies and get your costume right. They may look freaky, but I promise they won't bite. And they say the place is haunted, but the dancing's a delight. It may look scary, but don't be afraid. Cause nothing's what it seems at a monster party. It may look spooky, but don't have a fright. Cause at this monster party, we will rock all night. Cause nothing's what it seems at a monster party. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my NFL Weekly Predictions. Yes, finally, no more community post predictions. Finally, a predictions video. We haven't done one since what, like week two? But anyways, yeah. So as for how I did last week, seven and seven. It was a bad week. The Packers didn't even win either. I'm in so much pain right now, but it's, but you know what? Shake it off. Shake it off. It's brand new week, brand new games. Let's just get right into it. And let's just hope that most of my predictions don't end up flopping horrendously. Anyways, let's get into it. 
So, starting us off, we have Thursday Night Football. This week, we got the Denver Broncos going in to face the Kansas City Chiefs in AFC West matchup. We know exactly how this game is going to go. I mean, I know Kelsey had a little bit of an injury, but I think he's fine. And Patrick Mahomes, he's Patrick Mahomes. And, and the Chiefs are the Chiefs, even if they have been... Even if they have been making games closer than they should. Like, they honestly should have blew out the Vikings. I'm honestly quite surprised that game was pretty close. But that's basically what the Chiefs have been all season. Like, like it doesn't matter who they play. They just always seem to make it close. Well, as well, you can... Well, the Bears, they blew them out. But besides that, every other game has been very close for them. But... I feel like this game can be a blowout. The Broncos just look horrendous right now. I seriously thought that Sean Payton was going to come in and fix this team, but nope. This is the exact same Broncos that we got last year, and oh boy, they played ugly against the Jets, and they lost. So, yeah, things are not looking good in Denver right now. Denver fans, just say your prayers at this point. The ride never ends, Denver. The ride never ends. Moving on, we have our final London game of the season. We have the Baltimore Ravens facing off against the Tennessee Titans in Great Britain. So... With that, who do I think is going to win this game? It is a very, I think this could be a, I think this is going to be a close and entertaining game, but I still think Baltimore is the better team. I know the Titans have Derrick Henry, but the Titans, they got some problems, and I feel like this is a game that the Ravens will bounce back. I don't think the Ravens are terrible. They just tend to have bad games where they just completely stall, and that's exactly what happened against the Steelers, but I think this week they're going to bounce back. I have the Ravens winning it in a close matchup, but I think they will squeak out the win in London. Moving on, we have our first regular Sunday game of the week. We got the Washington Commanders going in to face the Atlanta Falcons. I got Atlanta winning this game once again in a pretty close matchup. I think these are two teams that are both evenly matched. The Commanders are coming off a very a very embarrassing win over or a very embarrassing loss over the Bears. While the Falcons, they are looking all right. I believe they won last week. I think they did. I really don't remember. I can't remember exactly who they played. I'm trying to think. But I still got the Falcons winning this game regardless. And it's at home, and they always tend to play really well at home. So I feel like that's going to be an advantage for them. It's going to be close, but I do have the Falcons winning this game at their home stadium. Moving on, we got an NFC North matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears. Now, originally I picked the Vikings to win this game, but then I thought, oh, wait. There's something missing with the Vikings. The top wide receiver in the league, a lot of people say. Yep, Justin Jefferson is injured. It looks like he's going to be out for a while. So, yeah, Vikings, I think you're pretty much screwed. I know the Bears are terrible, but I'm still taking them regardless. Vikings probably will look worse without Jefferson. I mean, seriously, without him, that whole offense is just going to die. Like, like, seriously, he's basically... Let's be honest, Justin Jefferson has just has been carrying that offense on his back. Like, like he is the sole reason why that offense is somewhat mid. Without him, that offense just is terrible. Nothing against Kirk Cousins, but I do think he has some issues. And and of course, that Vikings defense, man, oh, it is bad. Like, like just let me tell you, if you're a Vikings fan. You might as well just not watch for a while. Like, just don't watch at all. Like, it's not worth it at all. Like, you guys are going to get destroyed. I just, I really feel bad for you guys. So, yeah, with that, I do have the Bears winning this game. Vikings fans, fear the worst times of your life because they are about to to dawn upon you in these next couple weeks. 
Moving on, we got the Cleveland Browns going to face the San Francisco 49ers. Oh boy, this game is going to be an absolute massacre. Just, just bodies everywhere. This game is just going to be an absolute just slaughter fest. The 49ers are just going to straight up slaughter the heck out of the Browns. I mean, look what the Browns have. I mean, I don't even think Deshaun Watson's playing. I think he's still injured. You guys lost Nick Chubb for the year, so that's a big uh-oh. Like, like, seriously, things have just fallen apart for Cleveland. Like, they started hot, but now they are just, they're just nothing. Like, like, after all the hope they had in that first game against the Bengals, completely gone in week two after Nick Chubb, after Nick Chubb just straight up gone. Like, yeah, without Nick Chubb, that, that running game is going to be terrible, and yeah. As for the 49ers, really don't think I really need to explain much. Brock Purdy's been balling out. Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, and George Kittle are really good on the receiving end. And oh boy, Christian McCaffrey, he is a beast. Defenses fear McCaffrey. And I think they definitely should because I'm a little scared myself after that game against Dallas. As much as I was laughing hysterically on Dallas on the outside, I, was, I am really fearing San Francisco on the inside. And we do play them on Thanksgiving at home. I am kind of fearing that game after what I just witnessed against Dallas with that game against Dallas. I I just think the 49ers are like on a whole nother level. They are the team to beat. They are the team this year. If they keep this up, they're gonna get rank number six. <laughs> they just gotta stay healthy. That has just been the problem with the 49ers for like the last several years. They have to stay healthy. It's just kind of affected them every single year but who knows maybe this year is different and they stay healthy and they go all the way to Vegas and and win the Super Bowl that's what I think is probably gonna happen but if say Brock Purdy or McCaffrey gets injured yeah that's a big oops for you guys but the way I'm seeing it this could be the first team that could go like eight this could be the first 18 and 0 team in the NFL I'm not even joking like like, I am that fearful of the 49ers, but I do hope it's 17-1 and because I would love to beat the 49ers at least once this year. But anyways, I think I've rambled on long enough. 49ers are going to absolutely slaughter the Browns. There's really nothing else to say. This game's going to be a blowout. Wouldn't be surprised if this is higher than the score that Miami put up against Denver. So, uh, yeah, that's just about it. So, 49ers are going to walk right in and just, just stab the Browns a million times. So, yeah, that's that's what's going to happen. Moving on, we got the Nor New Orleans Saints going in to face the Houston Texans. This game probably will be close, but I think New Orleans is going to pull this one out. Though I have been liking what I've been seeing from the Texans, they're actually better than I thought. C.J. Stroud might actually be a contender for... For offensive rookie of the year he he's actually looking good that offense actually doesn't look too bad and overall I think the Texans are pretty okay I know they're honestly better than I thought they would be in their first year but in their first year in this new era but either way I still think the Saints are better they're more experienced and Derek Carr more experienced quarterback you know how it goes and they still got Alvin Kamara so you know it's pretty obvious who I'm taking there. So even though I think this is going to be a close game, this will definitely be a game to watch. But I still think that the Saints are going to pull this one out regardless. I have the New Orleans Saints winning of winning a close matchup between the Texans. Moving on, we got the Indianapolis Colts going in to face the Jacksonville Jaguars in AFC South matchup. These two teams are always entertaining when they match up, but either way, I am going to take Jacksonville to win. They are at home, and I think they are the most complete team in the AFC South. Though I think somehow this is going to be a close game, because whenever the Colts and the, and the Jaguars face each other, it always ends up being close. And and while Colts, it really sucks that you don't have, that you don't have Anthony Richardson now. He did get injured again. But, but I still think Gardner Minshew will be good enough to 
make this somewhat close of a game. Also, Jonathan Taylor is back, so that will definitely help you. Quite interesting to see him back. I honestly thought that Jonathan Taylor would never would never come back to Indianapolis, but nope, somehow they were able to work out a deal. I'm honestly quite surprised how that worked out. <laughs> But either way, I have the Jaguars winning this game. It's going to be close, but I do think that the Jacksonville Jaguars will pull out the win in the end on Sunday. Moving on, we got the Carolina Panthers going in to face the Miami Dolphins. Again, this is going to be another blowout. <laughs> the Panthers, like I said, they'll start out slow, but then late in the season, they'll get things going. I still think the Panthers are definitely still fairly young. They still got a lot to... They still got a lot to adjust to, and Bryce Young, he definitely has a lot of work to improve on. And and meanwhile, you take a look who they have on that Dolphins offense. Tua has been playing very well. They got Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill, an absolute dangerous wide receiver duo. And and of course, that Miami defense has been has been looking very strong too. I do have the Miami Dolphins winning this game. Even though they did kind of give up some points against the Giants, I still think they are a, a very good team compared to the... And they are a way better team compared to the Panthers. So this should be an easy win for Miami. But then again, I kind of said the same thing with, with the Giants. And, well, that game was actually kind of closer than I thought it would be. So who knows? Maybe this will be another close game for... For Miami. Who knows? But either way, I still have the Dolphins winning this game because I think they are the better team, and the Dolphins, I think, are the are probably are probably, well, I wouldn't say the best in the division. I still think the Bills are somewhat still up there, but I think the Dolphins are leading the division right now. So yeah, I have the Dolphins winning this game against Carolina. I just hope I'm right with this one. Moving on, we got the New England Patriots going in to face the Las Vegas Raiders. Blah! This is my stinky game of the week. This game is just going to stink. This game is going to be ugly. Like, Bill Belichick's having the worst season of his career, and I'm loving every second of it. Of course, you also know Mac Jones got benched. The Patriots have a ton of problems. That's also, but, but let's not also excuse the Raiders. Even though they won on Monday night, they are still not that great of a team. I mean, as long as they have Josh McDaniels as their head coach, they're definitely not doing anything. But I do think the Raiders are better than the Patriots, and they are playing at home, so I do think they have a solid advantage on winning this game. It's going to be a very, very slow and ugly game Probably just field goals, maybe one touchdown or two. But, but my guess is probably going to be like a 13-10 final score. Maybe 17-10 if, if maybe if we get a little bit better of a showing. But it's not going to be that very exciting of a matchup. It's going to be very low scoring. Probably going to be more defensive than offensive. It's, it's, it's going to be an ugly game. It, it's going to be an ugly game with two ugly teams. But in the end, the... The team that will be the less un ugly at the end of the day will be the Raiders. Moving on, we got the Detroit Lions going in to face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We've seen what Detroit has done this year. They are not the same old Lions that we have known for these last couple of years. This team is hungry and they are straight up biting kneecaps off teams left and right. I mean... I mean, we saw what they did to Carolina. We saw what they did to Green Bay. Like, this team is just mad. Like, even after that, even after that loss against my Seahawks, ever since that loss, they have absolutely turned it on. Like, like the Lions are destroying every single team in their path right now. They are hungry. They are ready to go out and win. They are not just here to win games. They are out here to win it all. I don't think they're as good as the 49ers right now, but they are still a pretty good team. I would say a top five team right now at best. Maybe a maybe sixth or seventh, but I still think they're somewhere around the top five. I could argue that they are a top five team. They do look really, really good this year. But let's not let's not overshadow the Buccaneers. They've actually been better than I thought they would. They're they're leading the division, and Baker Mayfield's actually playing better than I thought he would as well. They only have one loss against the 
against the Eagles, but I do think that the, that the Buccaneers, they're going to take a loss here against the Lions. I just think the Lions are better. I think the Buccaneers are going to struggle a little bit, but I do have the Lions winning this game in Tampa Bay. Detroit is going to bite the Bucks' kneecaps right off. Moving on, we got the Los Angeles Rams going in to face the Arizona Cardinals. Now, the Cardinals, I'm surprised. This team has been very, very, very sneaky this year. This has been that one very sneaky team that always sneaks their way into making a game a game interesting. They, they have done that for every single game this year, and I think they're going to do it again. But either way, I think the Rams are going to win this game. They also got Cooper Cup back, and, and well, he was just as good as I thought he would be. He was, he was making catches. He was, doing, he was getting a lot of reception yards, and I think Cooper Cup's going to do the exact same thing, but Puka Nakua has also been getting a lot of receptions too, and I definitely think he's been a very good rookie wide receiver. As long as Stafford can, can keep himself focused and not turn over the ball, I think they'll be good. So I have the Rams winning this game over the Cardinals, but it's going to be close because that's what the Cardinals have done. And the Rams have been a little iffy at times. <laughs> so there is a chance that this could be a matchup. Well, I honestly think that it will, but who knows? Maybe the Rams do ball out and, and cause a huge lead. Who knows? But... But thinking realistically, I think the Cardinals are going to try to sneak their way into this game, but it will be the Rams that will win it at the end of the day. Moving on, we got the Philadelphia Eagles going in to face the New York Jets. The Eagles, I really don't know how to describe them. Like, like they look like a Super Bowl contender, but then they nearly lose to the Commanders. They won, but they literally took the game to overtime. To the Commanders. How? I, I still don't know what's going on with the Eagles right now. I know they're undefeated, but should we really consider them a contender after what we've just seen? And while I still think they are going to be the Jets, somehow I think they're going to make this game insanely close than it should be. On paper, the Eagles should blow them out. But like what we've seen, that has not been the case with Philadelphia. They have not been able to dominate games at all this year. But... But still, I do think they're still pretty good. I think Jalen Hurts has been doing... Pretty good. AJ Brown's been getting been getting some good time. I think DeAndre Swift is gonna is gonna do some stuff. I think that defense can. I think that defense might sack might sack Zach Wilson a couple times. But but either way, I still think that this game is gonna be close. But I do think the Eagles are going to barely squeak out another win like they've done with all the other games this year. So with that, I have the Eagles winning this game, and if they do end up losing, oh boy, that would not be that great of a look for, for the Eagles to lose to the Jets, but I don't think they will, but Eagles, just don't do what you've been doing all season, trying to make games insanely close and actually try to dominate a game for once and try to be a team that we thought you were. I mean, we've been kind of waiting for you guys to kind of do something, but hasn't really clicked yet. I mean, you won games, but not in the way we thought. But either way, I have the Eagles winning regardless. And moving on, here is our Sunday night football matchup. The New York Giants going in to face the Buffalo Bills. Oh my God. Who thought this game would be a would be a good primetime game. Who thought this game would be totally fine to be seen on on live primetime television? We all know what's going to happen. Giants. Yeah, I I just yeah, I just smacked my Giants helmet. You saw what happened. The Giants look freaking awful, dude. They look terrible. 
I... I just don't know what to say after the performance we put on on Monday night. Like, when I was watching that Monday night game, I just saw just probably the worst football that I've ever seen played by a team. Like, like I have never seen a team struggle so badly than the Giants did in that Monday night game. They just looked bad. Like, like the defense looked awful. Daniel Jones looked awful. You don't got Saquon Barkley for probably the next couple of games. He got hurt in that game against the Cardinals. And now it looks like Daniel Jones might be out. So, yeah. Giants fans, just put those paper bags over your head and just accept the season that, you had, that, you, that you're going through right now. Bills are going to do exactly what they've done to any of their opponents like, like the Giants. And they are just going to freaking destroy them. This is going to be a blowout. Josh Allen is just going to ball out, throw, throw to Diggs and throw to Diggs and all his other receivers. The defense is going to be mean to Daniel Jones. Well, not Daniel Jones. They're, that defense is going to be mean to whoever is quarterback for the Giants right now if Jones does not play. Like... Like, yeah, Giants, you might as well just uh, just call it a season and just just tank and maybe try to get Caleb Williams if you can. I mean, I think that's like your only option. Like, seriously, New York, just blow it up and just start over again. It's not like you've done that already enough. Like, it's not like you've already done that already in so many times. Like, I think it's time that you probably try to do that again. I, uh, I really thought the Giants were going to pick up where they left off last year, making the playoffs, but nope, no, they're back to being the same old Giants that we have known the last couple years. This game is going to be a blowout. Bills will destroy them. And last but not least, we have the Monday night matchup. I would consider this the game of the week. The Dallas Cowboys going in to face the Los Angeles Chargers. Two teams that will be battling it out. It's going to be an offensive affair. A lot of, both teams are going to score a lot of points. Both defenses are going to give up a lot of points. But at the end of the day, I think the, I think the Chargers, they're probably going to have a lead. But we know what Brandon Staley does. And if we know Brandon Staley... He is going to somehow choke this game away. It's always happened, and it still always will, as long as he's head coach there. I got Dallas winning this one in a close matchup with Brandon Staley once again making a stupid call, which costs the Chargers the game. Like, like he always does. Like, like seriously, they're going to... Like, seriously, Chargers are going to have the lead. And then they're going to be on a fourth and one. And then they're going to be on a fourth and one and they're like on 25. And then Brandon Staley's going to make a genius call to go for it and sneak it in. And guess what? They don't get it. So, so yeah, this should be a winnable game for Dallas. I know they got their butts absolutely handed to them by the 49ers. Well, not their butts handed to them. They got their throats cut off in that game. Like... Like, I feel like I just need to make a... I feel like I just need to... I feel like I just feel like I just need to say, like, like murder-type words anytime I talk about the 49ers because that's just what, how they've been this year. They've just dominated teams. I still can't get over that. But, but either way, I do think that this is a game that the, the Cowboys will bounce back this week. Brandon Staley will choke as always. And, and Justin Herbert will wonder, why in the world am I still here just to suffer. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for my week six NFL predictions. Do you agree or disagree with my predictions? Let me know down in the comments below. I think there's a couple other things that I forgot to show you. So this is another thing from the dollar store that my mom found. It's a, it's a, it's a sticker book, pretty much. So... You know, you got like, 
all these different stickers in here. Don't know what I'm going to do with them, but who knows? Maybe they can go on the wall somewhere. I don't really know. But also, found this. This is a Paw Patrol Mighty Movie puzzle. So that's cool. Probably going to put that together in a someday. But anyways, that's going to do it. So with that, we'll just see how I do for week six. Hope the Seahawks can pull off the win against the Bengals. But I don't know. It's still going to be a it's still going to be a tough game regardless. But with how the Bengals have been performing, I think this is a game that we can win. So we'll just see how it turns out. Anyways, I'm just going to hop off so I can get this edited and get this out to you guys by by Thursday. I want to get this out by Thursday. Of course, I don't think I'm going to upload this tonight because, as you can tell, it is very late out. I always try to do these videos late at night so I can get a good background. But with that, that is going to do it. I'm going to try to get this out for you guys on Thursday before the Thursday night game. But anyways, it's going to do it for now. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Go Hawks.